Hi friends, and thank you for tuning in. My name is Chris Gill, and I'm a program manager on the Nougat team. Today, I'm very excited to show you how you can add a readme file to your Nougat package in Visual Studio. A high quality readme file will help users learn what your package is all about and how to quickly get started using it. If you already have a readme in your repo, then adding it to your package will just take a few seconds. Then when you upload your package to nougat.org, your readme will be prominently displayed on your package details page, giving your users an amazing onboarding experience. Now to learn how it's all done, let's fire up Visual Studio. So here I have an example readme for a package I work on called Nougat Cleaner. It's a .NET global tool that's meant to help users remove old unused packages from their machine. I have a pretty short readme that has all the basic components, an introduction to what my package is, how to get started, including prerequisites and basic usage, some code snippet examples, and additional documentation and details. Now, this is just one example of what a readme might look like. They can vary widely in style and size, depending on the package and use case. So let's go ahead and add this to my package. I can do that by going to project, project properties. Then I can go to the package section. This is going to have all of the relevant metadata for my package. Scroll down to the readme field. I can browse for my readme file. Now it doesn't literally have to be named readme.md. It actually supports any markdown file, but it's pretty common to have a readme.md file at the root of your repo like I do. So I'm going to go ahead and include that. And bam, I've officially added a readme to my NuGet package. It's that fast and that easy. Now, this is what it looks like in my project file. Adding it generates this package readme file with the name of my readme, as well as this code block that essentially says, this is the path to my readme file. Let's pack it whenever I generate my package. Now that that's done, I can create my package and upload it to nougat.org with my tool of choice. Personally, I like to use the web UI on nougat.org, so to save time, I already prepared an upload. The neat thing about the nougat.org upload page is that it gives me a preview of all my package metadata before I officially upload to nougat.org. This includes a preview of the rendered readme file, showing me what it will look like on my package details page. This is great so I can catch mistakes and make any needed adjustments in advance. Since your readme is inside your package, you won't be able to tweak it once it's uploaded to nougat.org. So using the upload preview can be an absolute lifesaver. So this readme looks pretty good. I'll show you what it looks like after I submit. This is what my package details page looks like with my rendered readme. It puts the information front and center to improve user learning and onboarding, saving them a trip to my GitHub. Now you can compare that to an earlier version of my package without a readme. You can see a pretty stark difference in how rich and professional my package page looks. Now, if you notice this, if you view a page of a package you own that doesn't have a readme, you'll see a prompt inviting you to add one as a best practice. So hopefully now you're convinced readmes are awesome and easy to add, but wait, there's more. When you add a readme to your package, users will also be able to access it from the package manager UI in Visual Studio. This is helpful for users who primarily do their package browsing in Visual Studio or want an easy to access reference link for their packages. So that's the basics of NuGet readmes in a nutshell. If you wanna learn more, you can visit aka.ms slash NuGet readme. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope that you have an amazing .NET Conf.